Hi, this is Grandpa Ron. Uh, yeah, having a slide out can give you a lot of advantages in your RV. Gives you more room to uh, move around in, and if you happen to have a Murphy bed, you pretty much need a slide out in order to get it down to sleep. I really like having a slide. That's all well and good, but uh, what happens if it doesn't work? Yeah, that happened on our last road trip. Uh, we went to uh, Texas and back for a wedding. Tell you what happened to us, what we did about it, and some tips on what you can do if your slide stops working. Last March, we made a trip out to Dallas in the RV. First night out, Slide wouldn't work. Um, yeah, I had been acting up. I uh, got a little finicky beforehand, but I always thought maybe just the RV wasn't level or something was going on. Fortunately, with the J model, we don't really need to have the slide out to work everything. Uh, the bed in the corner works fine. Uh, we can cook and we can eat and everything. So it wasn't a super big deal, but uh, I sure missed the extra space. However, on the way back from the wedding, we stopped at a Walmart in uh, Midland, Texas. I thought I'd give it another try, and suddenly gone. The slide went out. So for the night, I really enjoyed the extra room. I could kick back, watch a DVD on the TV and stuff, and uh, it was a little nicer having the slide out, so that was all great. For some reason, I didn't think about uh, whether, in fact, the slide would come back in again until the next morning. However, after having my first cup of coffee, yeah, I started to get a little bit anxious, so I gave it a try. Uh, no joy, didn't work. The same front motor was dead. Well, I can't drive the RV with the slide out, and we were still a thousand miles from home. What am I going to do now? First thing I thought of was, yeah, I remember some, uh, watching some YouTube videos, uh, and the guy was replacing a motor. Uh, yeah, it had a bad uh, solder connection on the board, so he uh, re reattached the wire and uh, repaired it that way. So I was thinking, well, maybe I have the same problem. Fortunately, we were at the Walmart, so... If I need to get a ladder and some soldering tools and stuff, uh, they have pretty much all that stuff. After my wife got back from her walk, uh, I broke the bad news to her. She said a quick prayer, and I asked her to hit the switch again, while I shook the slide as hard as I could. Who knows if something was just stuck. Anyway, praise God, but the uh, slide started working again. I pulled the slide completely in. No more experiments on this trip, at least until we get home. So if you're not familiar with how slides work, there's three main electrical parts. There are the, both of the motors that actually work it out. There's a controller that controls the motors, and there's various interfaces and switches, uh, like having to brake on the engine running, that kind of stuff. Uh, the first thing I got home was to order a spare motor. Amazon has them, and you can get them from RV dealers, but uh, I got mine at eBay for, I think it was like $70 or $80, so it was much cheaper. So next thing after ordering the motor, we went out and took a look at the controller. The controller is located underneath the slide in this uh, J model and it has little uh, air codes that you can read with flashing lights and stuff. So I read up on that, uh, read out the error code. Mine flashed about eight times and that says that there's a wiring or a motor problem. Even though it says it's a wiring problem, it could still be a bad motor because there's wiring on the circuit board of the motor. So I decided to just wait till the motor came in. After I got the new motor, I started pulling off the inside weather stripping. Yeah, there's a little uh, D channel. Uh, uh, gasket there and that kind of just pulls right out of the channel so that was pretty easy. The other seal is glued on um, so I peeled it halfway down to give me some more room to work with. And then I could see the motor and a wiring. After fishing out the wiring and motor connector uh, I unplugged the motor and plugged in a new one to make sure it was working. That one ran fine so I started looking at the existing motor to see if there was a broken wire like I saw in the YouTube videos. I was surprised to see that the motor had the newer PCB connector and all the wires look pretty good on it, so uh, yeah, I don't think that was a problem. Plugged the existing motor back in and son of a gun, it started working. It surprised me. That led me to thinking, well, maybe it was just the uh, connector, just it wasn't making a good connection there. Since I got the new motor, I might as well change it out anyway. So um, unfortunately, I couldn't loosen up the motor from the inside. So I remember seeing some YouTube videos where there was a screw on the outside that you had to loosen up to take the motor out. So I moved the slide out a little bit. I got my ladder, climbed up there, started looking around, took off all the uh, weather stripping there, uh, started to remove some of the screws to get the weather stripping off. Um, so anyway, I could see the motor in there, but it was 
Went back to the inside. Let's see if I could get the motor up and out, but uh, it wasn't budging. So finally decided, like, well, forget it. I'll just keep the old motor in there. It seems to be working fine. I connected and reconnected a couple of times. Uh, then put all the wiring back in underneath the channel. I uh, re-glued the weather stripping in. It's been a few months now and the slide has been working great. These slides are fairly reliable not likely to have a problem. In my case, it just seems to be a bad connection between the motor and the wiring. If you do have a trouble with the slide on the road, first thing to check, of course, is make sure that your brake is on and the engine is running. Those bypasses are important. Uh, and as long as you got good voltage in your batteries, it should work fine. Uh, if it doesn't, then take a look at the controller. The controller has flashing lights to kind of give you an indication of where the problem is. It's a little bit tight under there, so I'd recommend getting a mirror or something that you can see. Controllers seem to be pretty reliable. Uh, the motors, you have to replace those. Yeah, if you're very handy, you might be able to do it, but uh, next time I don't think I'd bother with it. Just too much messing around with it, so I just have to call somebody. But anyway, now I have a spare motor in case there is a problem. For, for my next video, I'm going to talk about a trip we made to Colorado. Yeah, it wasn't in the RV. So I was going to have a cool drink. While you're driving. It's with my new uh, Tesla Model Y, so it's going to be an EV versus an RV comparison. Some of the good points and the bad points. Uh, I'll give you a hint, none more perfect. So for now, this is Grandpa Ron. Enjoy the ride, and I'll see you on the road.